so this is the final stage of uh, harvesting seeds these are okra seeds these are pods that i uh, cut from the plants from last season they remained there for at least a period of say a couple of months before they finally dried out uh, i've already harvested some and this is some of the remains left from the pods that's fine i don't think or something like this uh, just to show you that these are the seeds that i'm getting what are the advantages of harvesting your own seeds these are plants that have lived in your garden they know the soil condition they've survived in the soil condition and hopefully they've prospered and produced good fruit so this increases the chance that uh, when you plant them again you will get a better harvest you will get plants that are more robust more fruit producing and good for your garden good for your produce uh, so then i got these two left i just wanted to show you if you take this pod and crush it difficult to do this with one hand but just to show you too much of my hand uh, so anyhow the idea is you get pods you get seeds in here mm. I don't know whether I can show you this or not. Huh. So you can see, for example, this seed. There are many more seeds like that. And I'm done harvesting. I'll have some good number. I already have some that I did a couple of weeks back. Uh, they dry up at different period of time. There's no single that they will dry up only in this particular time frame. Some dried up within a month. Some took more than two months. So I'm still in the process. But on the whole, I must have collected, say, something like at least 40 50 seeds. I'm going to germinate them in a couple of weeks and see how it goes. Hopefully it should work out well. If they germinate well, then you've got some good seeds that you can use. And if I've got 50 seeds, I can at least give away 15-20 to friends because I won't need that many.